Hello Ardalan, German Vertical Farming Association. I'm Hussein Najad. As you can see, we grow saffron indoors. My colleague, Mr. Shakimer and Mr. Sedifizade. Actually, I'm here to give you some explanation about my work in detail. For growing saffron indoors, an insulated building is needed. Equipping the building varies according to its size. Roof of our building is insulated by fiberglass. We installed windows at the beginning and at the end of building to provide the required light. Growing aeroponic saffron is done in a vertical facility. For shelving, we use galvanized shelves because they're long-lasting and resistant to high humidity of the building. We should plant saffron onions in pallets. It's better to use wooden pallets because extra humidity will be taken by wood. We used wooden pallets and they are built by Russian wood. This type of wood is very resistant to humidity. Our pallet size are 60 times 40. Controlling temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide is one of the most important factors in aeroponic technique. As you know, we are located in tropical region. So, for having required temperature, an air conditioner is needed. So we used 5-tone mini chiller beside an air handling unit and humidifier that is equipped with coil. Mini chiller cools water. Cooled water enters air handling unit's coil through its outlet pipes. As a result, cold air cools the building through plastic pipes. Our air handling unit provides required humidity too. This humidity will be prepared by spraying water that is inside the unit. Our air handling unit has some dampers that are used to control carbon dioxide. 